I love food, yes I do, yeah I spend all my money on food. Nom, 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 nom. It's true, I love food. Good, a little intro song for you guys. I thought you need to know how much I love food today. Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host, food lover Felgate, aka Rebecca Felgate. Today we are talking about the top 10 foods that are illegal in the USA. Now these are just everyday foods and it's totally crazy. If anyone is watching stateside, do let me know what you think in the comments section down below. If you're not watching stateside, let me know what country you're from and what your favorite food is. Also, please do hit that thumbs up button. Also, free air pizza for everyone that hits the thumbs up. Yeah, any flavour you want. Okay, so let's start this list off with one that we're all pretty aware of. We have the humble Kinder Egg. Kinder Eggs hail from Italy. They're delicious and the best part about these white and milk chocolate eggs is that they have little toys in them. This unfortunately is the issue for America. The Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act bans the sale of any candy that has a toy or trinket embedded in it. You can get fined anywhere up to $2,000 for trying to smuggle a Kinder Egg into America. Three children worldwide have died from choking on Kinder Egg parts since the confectionery came out in 1974. Three in over 40 years. Guess how many children have died from mass shootings in schools in America this month? Enough said. Coming in at number nine, we have British chocolate. So Cadbury's is a big deal for us Brits. Some will tell you that it's a little cube of heaven, and to be honest, they're right. While you can buy something in a Cadbury's wrapper in the United States, it's not the same as British Cadbury's, or real chocolate as we call it. Hershey's bought the rights to Cadbury's in North America, which means they use a totally different recipe with much less cocoa in it. While you can bring a dairy milk from the UK in your suitcase, it's not legal to import or sell UK recipe chocolate in the States. Good one, Hershey's. Thanks for ruining it for everyone. Coming in at number eight, we have absinthe. Absinthe is pretty much an everyday food in France. A lot like the pretend imitation Cadbury's that you can eat, you can drink pretend imitation absinthe. Basically, the real absinthe is the kind that got 19th century musicians and artists well and truly trolleyed, and it contained an ingredient called tujone. Tujone? Thujone? You decide. Absinthe in Europe contains all of this important mind bending goody, but you can't have it in the USA, so no green fairy for you. Coming in at number seven, we have haggis. Scotland's national dish is banned in the United States. Ah, no! Sorry, Scotland. <laughs> to be honest, as a vegetarian, haggis isn't really for me anyway, but some people strongly uphold that it is delicious. Now, the reason it's banned in the USA is because it contains sheep's lung, and lung is an ingredient that isn't welcome in the USA. Scotland has tried to level with the United States on the topic, but the meaty feast hasn't been legal for import since 1971. Coming into number six, we have Mexican vanilla. If you're from the states, you can't bring Mexican vanilla across the border because more often than not, it contains a banned ingredient. Now this is called Cormadin. Cormadin was banned by the federal government in 1940 because of its toxicity and detrimental effect on the human kidneys and liver. Beware of imitation vanilla. Coming in at number five, we have bush meat. Honestly, I have no idea how and why anyone would eat bush meat, but I accept that not everyone is me and that we have different tastes. Nonetheless, my tastes generally don't involve risking smuggling a bowler into the country. Bush meat is a luxury in West Africa and refers to things like lions, bats, and gorillas. Expat West African communities do crave it, and some even illegally buy and trade it. However, it does pose a deadly threat. Coming in at number four, we have Belugia caviar. Belugia caviar was so sought after, it led to overfishing of Belugia sturgeons and a decline in the species. Now poaching the fish is illegal, and the caviar is illegal to buy in the USA, but of course, the delicacy is available on the black market. Coming into number three, we have fresh ackee fruit. Ackee is very popular in Jamaica, but it's banned in the USA. Why? Well, eating it raw without care can result in death. Aki and codfish is a popular Jamaican dish, but those who don't know how to prepare it could be risking their lives. Coming into number two, we have black pudding or blood sausage. In the UK, black pudding is an everyday item on a breakfast menu, and in South America, they have something similar in the form of blood sausage, which, like black pudding, is made with pig's blood. America is not so down with this, and I totally get it. Okay, number one, though, is a huge deal breaker for me. I am shaken and saddened. At number one, I'm very, very sad. We have unpasteurized cheese. 
That's right, America, you can't eat a real brie or a real camembert. Like, this is sacrilege for me. You don't know what you're missing. Unpasteurized cheese is delicious. Like, delicious. In Europe, we don't tend to pasteurize a lot of cheeses because the flavor is much richer if the milk is left raw. In the States, you simply can't do this. It's not legal. All milk must be pasteurized because there is a very, very small risk of bacteria spread. However, the risk is so low, in my opinion, it's not worth sacrificing the flavor. Mmm, cheese. Okay, excuse me, I'm gonna need to go and think about cheese for the rest of the day because I love it. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode of the Most Amazing. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. Why don't you leave me a comment letting me know your favorite food? As discussed, mine is absolutely cheese. If you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed for more Most Amazing lists. Bye. <laughs>